of November did I have? My goodness, I will tell you all about it. Um, but first I wanted to say thank you for all the lovely comments across all the different platforms. I know I haven't been able to reply to you all, but I just wanted to say thank you for, you know, your questions about where I've gone and how I am and just, you've all been so lovely. So thank you very much. And also I wanted to say a huge thank you to my patrons for being so patient. I do have some videos coming up about a control journal that I'm making um, with schedules and cleaning routines and all sorts of different routines. And so that is coming, I promise. And thank you again for being so patient. Now that I've got all that out, I don't know whether to talk about the spread first or what's been going on first. Um, probably the spread. So I had quite a few requests uh, to bring the little people back and I was so excited that, I don't know, that you were just, that you liked them. <laughs> I was like, yay, they like my little people. <laughs> so I brought them back for Christmas and I've sort of I didn't add colors um you know the reds and greens I kept it all I was gonna say simple this is not a simple spread but I, I kept it <laughs> slightly more simple by not using colors because I was just under a time crunch I mean obviously it's now the first of December and um yeah this is this video is like a week late but I just have not had the time so at the beginning of this month, if you've watched my previous videos, you know that I have been in a domestic abuse kind of relationship. Well, kind of. It was. It was a domestic abuse relationship. And for the past five years, I've kept fairly quiet about it. I haven't, you know, I haven't outed him because I, you know, I just felt like that. What was the point? Um, and also, it, it was scary. It was scary. I didn't want to uh, reopen that can of worms, I suppose. <laughs> but he was in the media quite a lot because he's quite. Um, he's very well known in our town. He was um, elected mayor, and he's now a councillor for our town. And he just he was in the news for something so ridiculous and I just and everybody was up in arms about something he'd done and it was just really stupid and I felt so angry that people were up in arms about him doing this really silly thing and I was thinking god that's the least of you know he's just that's that's nothing that's nothing compared to what he's really like you're just it's like oh, I can't even explain it but I was really sort of down about it and he was all over Facebook and then he was on the news and he was just everywhere and everybody was talking about him and I was thinking I really wanted to leave this in the past but because everybody was talking about him and there was people saying oh he's such an idiot and oh, he's this that and the other and I was thinking you know you seeing as he's in a position of power in our town and he's making these decisions for our town I felt like our town deserved to know what and who they were really voting for and also the comments about what a lovely you know fantastic bloke he is and that this is just a blip in his career was just oh it was like knives in my back with people saying he's such a fantastic bloke he's great and you know we should all forgive him because he's so lovely and well respected and so I decided to open up and you know, on my on my Facebook page, I didn't plaster it all over our town's Facebook page because I just, you know, I didn't want to make a circus out of it. So I sort of very, well, as much as I could without too much emotion and just completely factual, um, let people know what he was really like and what he had done. And 
I've had quite good responses about it because I've had a lot of people come out of the woodwork and say, yeah, I knew he was like that and I suspected he was like that and I've had trouble with him. And so I had quite a lot of support, but obviously opening up about it was terrifying, really, really frightening because because it's just, it's scary. When you've been in an abusive relationship and then you sort of go back into it all and bring it all out into the open it is terrifying it really is but I felt like people deserve to know what he's really like so for the beginning part of the month I was a hermit I was very sort of on edge and frightened about the backlash but I did feel like a huge weight had been lifted so I'm I'm glad I sort of opened up about it um Once I sort of came out of (laughs) hibernation for the first couple of weeks, we then had some family issues. Um, My mum, unfortunately, had a car crash. She's fine. Everybody involved was fine, but her car was written off and she was very, you know, frightened of driving again, which anybody would be. And it was awful. And I, I hated seeing her so upset, but... In light of everything, um, she's decided that she would like to be on her own. And, you know, finally, probably for the first time in her life, live on her own and find out who she really is and what she really needs. And I could not be prouder of my mum. She's so, so brave and incredible. And I'm just so proud of her for taking control of her life and doing what she thinks is best for her for a change. She's a carer in the community and looks after people and she's always give, 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 give to everybody else. And finally, she's doing something for herself. But obviously, it's very frightening to live on your own when you've never really done that in years and years and years and years, since before I was born. So most of the rest of the month has been taken up with finding her somewhere to live and speaking to estate agents and sorting things out like that and finding her a car and I have no idea about cars and stuff absolutely no idea whatsoever so I rang my dad and I was like dad I found a car for my mum is does it look any good to you and he said yeah it all looks pretty good are you gonna go and see it and I said yes what the hell do I ask him what do I do (laughs) because you know I'm I'm a girl I don't know stuff about cars and not the girls don't know stuff about cars I know there are many women who are really clued up on that sort of thing but I am not so (laughs) but um I I did end up finding her a a nice little car and somewhere to live and she's going to be moving uh, in a couple of weeks so it's been really 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 hectic and um Oh, I've just <laughs> kept going. I have to get this video done. I've got to get it done. I've got to get it done. So now it's done. <laughs> and I bring you my December 2019 Christmas spread. Yay! <laughs> I've just realized how quiet my narration is. Is is this better? Is it better? Am I now blowing all your ears off? <laughs> Sorry, quick. T- turn the volume down a bit now <laughs> um yeah so with the spread guess what guys i got the month right <laughs> this month last month i did my november spread and i didn't even notice i had no idea that i'd written all the dates wrong all the way through the spread all the way through the spread <laughs> I was like, no so I sort of remade um, a really sort of easy spread and I used that for the rest of the month. But um, yes, for this December, I got, I think I got everything right. Um, I triple checked it and I've changed some things up. Like you can see in this spread here, uh, this is my, come on Elise, think, 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 think brain fog sorry 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 habits it's my habits and health tracking page and I've made a smaller note section 
I've cut down what I'm tracking and I've used these little wine glasses and things so that I can track my productivity. If I am productive, I'm going to colour the, um, the glasses in green and if I'm not, I'm going to do it in red. And I cut it all down because it was just too too much after the month I've had. I wanted to simplify things a little bit because I haven't actually touched my bullet journal really in about two, three weeks because I just have not had the the brain power for it. I just haven't been able to. And usually, you know, if this had happened a, a year ago, I would have been beating myself up and going, you know, you should, you haven't filled it in and now you're going to have all these blank pages and you know I just thought god give yourself a break it's just a bullet journal it really isn't that big of a deal and you can always go back to it and get back into the swing of things so for anybody going through a tough time if your bullet journal you know sort of falls by the wayside don't worry about it it's not that big a deal it's it's okay <laughs> take a break um and I've also I changed my monthly spread uh, you know, this sort of month to view and put my little mini things, you can see me writing them out here, the things that I uh, do as like an overview of the month. And I put that in my few lines a day, which I haven't done uh, like the first, the second, the third, blah, 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 blah. I'm just going to fill it in as and when I feel like it, if there's anything that I feel I want to talk about, because I don't want to put the pressure on myself to have to fill it out every single day. Um, so the month spread I've split into work. So I've got a sort of schedule for my uploads because I really want to be more on the ball with it. I've got appointments and things. I've got, uh, I can't remember what the other one is. <laughs> and I've got home tasks and stuff. And those are sort of they roll over every week it's the same I'm doing the fly lady system kind of kind of if you haven't heard of the fly lady and you want to get better at cleaning I suggest you uh, go and have a look at all their YouTube videos because there's some really really great ones so I have changed quite a few things up in this spread um, but look at the little people look I gave them a little carrot for a snowman and I, I really, really like this spread. I know it's not really something that's particularly easy to recreate, but I really like it and I'm going to enjoy using it. And I'm glad I've changed things up a little bit um, for the, you know, the last month of the year. So I've done the same thing with my Tristan and Ridley section where I write down things I've done with them every day. I haven't given myself space for the whole, you know, every day of the month. Uh, the same for my gratitude and what was the other one? Things that went well. So like successes, I think. I'll find out in a minute. Oh, things that I'm proud of. So things that I've done well. Um, so I'm just going to write those in as and when I feel I would like to. Not pressure myself again to fill it in every day. And this might be my favourite little doodle page. Uh, in my last two Christmas spreads than I've done in the last two years. I've always had this sort of fireplace and a little table and um, made a sort of Christmas living room scene. And I wanted to do that again this year, but I wanted to see if I could challenge myself to, oh, hang on, I've got kids coming in. Hello. Sorry about that. It's, it was Tristan's birthday, 10th birthday yesterday. I can't believe I'm a decade older from when I had him. It's scary. <laughs> I don't feel any older. But he had a sleepover last night um, with a couple of his friends and that was interesting. <laughs> um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, this spread. I wanted to actually challenge myself to put a little person in the scene because like I said before, before I used to draw my little people and they would just be stood still, head on, um, and that would be it. And I'm really trying to challenge myself to actually put them in scenes and kind of make a story about it. And I know it's not perfect. I know um, my sort of body anatomy and stuff is not, <laughs> it's not realistic in the slightest, but it's good enough for me. I like it and I'm, I'm quite proud of it. I, I think she's pretty sweet. She's got a little knitting and stuff. So <clears throat> the next page is my productivity tracking. If you haven't seen it before, 
I do have a video all about how I use it. Um, it's not, I want to say again, it's not something I came up with. It was the Boosted Journal's uh, original idea. Um, I want to give them credit for it because a few people have said um, on Instagram and tagged me as the creator and I am not, I am not the creator. It was the Boosted Journal. But I've simplified this one as well. Usually I've got all sorts of boxes and levels and this time I just thought I'm just going to have the days of the month and then write in my little drawing my little doodles for each activity that I do so I've got an idea of how productive I was that day um, and I did this last month because of the whole November fuck up <laughs> kind of thing so I um, said a bad word sorry um, yeah I'm, I've made it easier for myself because it was just I didn't want to have to write it and draw it all out it takes ages <laughs> and this I think it just it looks cleaner and neater and better and it serves the same purpose it works the same way so everybody wins <laughs> and then we've got my la 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 sorry I'm really this month has been so brain foggy um with everything going on I've just been <sighs> not really knowing whether I'm coming or going so I'm sorry this narration is going to be all over the place but it's here I've done it <laughs> I have finally got around to doing it uh, also I have made some really good changes this month despite everything going on oh hello Sheesh. <laughs> um, yes, I've made the first little change that I made that has just spiralled into something magical for me. I am not the tidiest person. I really, really, I just, I fly around the house and I forget to put things away. And by the end of the day, it's just like a bomb's hit it. And then the next day, it's like, oh my God, I can't even... I don't want to face it. And then I procrastinate and put it off and put it off and put it off until it becomes this big mess in my whole house and I just don't know what to do with it all but <laughs> down the side of my bed I don't have a lot of space down the side of my bed I've just got a little walkway and that was probably the worst place for clutter to gather because it was end of day I just chuck everything off and get into bed and go oh thank god it's all over but I made a new rule for myself which was to not at all under any circumstances put anything on the floor down the side of my bed ever and I've kept to it but since I did that I've sort of just I don't know it's like my mindset changed I made a rule for myself and I stuck to it and it was very simple and it sort of spiraled into being tidy I'm just I'm tidy <laughs> and every morning I've been getting up and emptying the dishwasher and doing you know a load of laundry and the house is clean it's clean um and i'm i'm falling in love with my house again because i've sort of rearranged things and made it enjoyable to be in so if you're struggling with cleaning maybe just try one rule um something not too big and then just go from there and see how you get on because it's been just like magical for me um and the other thing with with mum um, moving and the car and everything and being under such a time crunch, I've realised that actually if I put my mind to it, I can achieve stuff. I really can. I'm I can be on the ball and organised and make phone calls and speak to people. Usually my anxiety goes through the roof if I have to make phone calls and I don't want to talk to anybody. But I've I've managed it so despite it being a, a quite a tricky month I'm I'm feeling good I feel really good it's like I've been challenged and I've rise to the challenge <laughs> so yeah I, I'm feeling good so you know if you're in a bad place don't give up hope because it can get better it really can and I'm not saying I'm not going to go back downhill and have down days again that is completely possible but for now, I'm just trying to make sure I acknowledge the fact that I am capable. And that is enough at the moment. 
so here you can see my sort of Christmassy spread. It's simple, it's very simple, it sort of speaks for itself. But the 25 days of Christmas, I'm going to add in a sort of Christmas activity every day that I can do with my family, um, you know, before Christmas. And uh, that should be fun. And I've got my gifts and the card section. So I didn't have this before and now I'm quite looking forward to using it. I'm getting in the Christmas spirit this year, I really am. I don't know if it's because Ridley's a bit older and he'll understand it a bit more this year or just because I'm feeling better. Um, but yeah, it's it's all good. And I wanted to thank everybody for being so lovely about how, you know, I've been fairly honest about the fact that I've not been feeling great for a while, but I'm feeling better because I'm feeling more capable. I think when you're depressed, one of the main things you need to focus on is reminding yourself that you are capable of taking control of things because when you're depressed it's a very hopeless hopeless and frightening feeling so the fact that I'd sort of been thrown into being more organized and more resilient is you know it's been great and um, I am I am just feeling better so thank you for everybody's support um, and being so kind about everything. This is the last page. Uh, it's I was doing a Dutch door and I just filled out one of the weeks in the Dutch door because I didn't want to go through them all in this video. Um, I did the Christmas week, the week that Christmas falls in on Pussycat and then I did the, I did Father Christmas as my little doodle. Uh, for for this page and it's fairly simple layout my white gel pen isn't coming up very bright at the minute but I've got a section for homework other stuff tasks that I need to do people I need to call and people I need to email look at that little girl look at that face she's so beautiful <laughs> um, I did end up coloring in father Christmas gray because I felt like he needed a skin tone but I wasn't using colors in this um, I did use red because I thought it's Christmas. Let's get out of the way, move. <laughs> um, because I wanted to use Christmassy colors for Christmas week. So I just added in a bit of red, but because I made his skin gray, he kind of looks like zombie Father Christmas now. <laughs> I wish I hadn't made him gray, but um, yeah, he's, he's my little Father Christmas for Christmas week. I'm not gonna keep going on. Uh, this month. I know this video hasn't been particularly informative uh, with bullet journal stuff, but I wanted to update everybody and just let you know what's going on. And hopefully I will be back to, you know, normal uploads and getting more things out very soon. Um, I feel like it's becoming more possible. Christmas day. Are you all excited for Christmas? I haven't bought any presents yet. But now that Tristan's birthday is out of the way, now I can start focusing on, on Christmas. Um, yes, yeah, so thank you for watching this video. Thank you for following me and staying with me despite me disappearing off the face of the earth for a bit. Thank you for all the comments that I've had and I have read them all, I promise, and I, I so appreciate them. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this spread. If you did, please like and um, like this video because it really helps my channel. If you also comment, um, if you have anything to say, that would be brilliant. It really helps boost my channel. Um, yeah, and subscribe if you if you would like to see more stuff because I'm gonna get on the ball. I feel really sort of like, yeah, I can do it. Let's let's go. <laughs> so yeah. Um, I don't really have anything else to say now, so yeah. Thank you everybody for being so lovely and I wish you such a very, very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I don't sing, don't sing Elise. Um, yeah, bye. <laughs>